What's cracking, guys? Bruce Matz here, your host show, Metro Scout Fantasy Football. And today we're going to be talking about Travis Etienne. We're going to be going over last week's plays against the Washington Commanders. A lot of people are down on him, and there's also a lot of people holding strong. What the doubters are saying really is they're looking at his drop. They're looking at that ball that got hit out, that, that went all over the field. But we're looking at his touches. There are some good things to look at, and we're going to go over those right now. I got three plays to pull up here, and we're going to go over the first one. Here he's getting the handoff. The flag goes up, so it comes back. But here he's looking for the edge. We're just watching what he's doing. He finds the crease here, takes that up, and almost gets tackled or gets grabbed up on here. Gets through that, spins out. That's a pretty spin. Then eventually gets caught. Falling forward, though. I don't see there's not much more to go on that play. Next one here, back by himself. We're going to get the pitch. We're going to take outside. We're going to follow 74 here. We're going to cut it on his inside ass cheek. Following the leverage, the leverage of the defenders are headed towards the sideline anyways. Gets through that. He's going to run right through. Look at the burst, and that's it. This one I want to look at. We got a little all-22 action, and here he goes. Approach the line scrimmage. We got 52 trying to barrel his way through the line. Almost catches ETN. And now we're hitting the second level. Almost gets wrapped up on, gets past that. Now we're going to run the circle outside. You run the circle to get away from the trash that's formed up in the middle. That's what he's going to do. Hits that, gets past this dude. Now we're following 17. And that's all she wrote. That's the end of the play. Travis Etienne does have some goods. He's got some things going on with him. He's got some good bursts. He's got some decent vision. He's got some decent contact balance. We also got the negatives there. We got the drop. We got the ball coming out on that one play. But give him some time. Give him some games. We don't need to go crazy on week one. We don't need to do that. Give these players some time, especially a guy like this coming back from a major injury, and it's really his first year. Technically a rookie. Technically call him a rookie this year because that's what he is. We're looking at what he can do on the field right now. There's a lot of speculation. Allow him to gel. Let him get some of this rust off too. Let him have his time. There are some good moments, which is good. He's flashing. We got James Robinson there too, coming back from that big injury. And he's looking good as well for what he had to come back from. But Travis Etienne, I'm not saying he's going to be a Hall of Famer. I'm not saying he's going to be a Jonathan Taylor because I don't think that. But I think you should give him a little bit more time. Let this guy gel. Let him prove that he's bad. Let him prove that he's good. Give him at least the time of day. I get it. It didn't work out for you week one for fantasy football, but you know what? Most of the players, it didn't work out for anyways. Give them some time. Give them some time to develop before you start cashing out and talking bad about them on the internet. But I want to thank you for watching the show. Make sure you hit that like button. Helps the video and the algorithm. And also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Fuels the channel for sure, but it also helps you because I'm dropping fantasy football rankings. I dropped my top 40 rankings for running backs yesterday you're going to want to check that out when you set your lineups wide receivers are coming tonight i'll have that posted sometime soon and then i'll also do the other positions as well and i'll do that every week along with more rankings list later in the week with tears i'm trying to get you guys set for sunday but i want to thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next vid